a number of developments this week concerning the legalization of marijuana. Yesterday, the province proposed legislation on how it will handle cannabis sales once it's legalized. The plan includes controlling online sales of marijuana, but leaving over-the-counter sales to private businesses. New legislation for driving under the influence of marijuana was also introduced this week. Our reporter Kennedy Schmidt joins us with more on that story. Thanks, Alex and Alicia. Impaired driving, whether that be due to alcohol, cannabis, or any other impairing drug, is the leading cause of criminal death in Canada. With the legalization of marijuana just around the corner, the province is taking into account what this is going to mean for road safety by making changes to the Traffic Safety Act when it comes to driving under the influence of marijuana. Impairment is impairment, uh, and that whether it's marijuana or alcohol, you're, if you're impaired on the road, we need to do something to take you off the road. The province is expecting to see an increase of impaired driving once pot is legalized next year. And the government wants everyone to recognize the seriousness of the situation. The real risk here is that people don't feel that cannabis is uh, quite as bad or quite as uh, impairing a substance as alcohol and that nothing could be further than the truth. Bill 29 would see those driving under the influence of marijuana face similar charges to those driving drunk. There will be a zero tolerance for new drivers. Fully licensed drivers caught with more than two but less than five nanograms of THC in their system would face a maximum fine of $1,000. If caught with more than five nanograms, drivers will face increased penalties, a minimum fine of $1,000 on their first offense, a 30-day jail sentence on their second, and a 120-day sentence on their third. Advocates against impaired driving are in support of the new legislation. We want to uh, share our appreciation to this government for the hard work. We know it, it's not an easy task to bring in new impaired driving legislation and we're certainly pleased with where we are today. Of course, one of the big questions right now is how to enforce these charges while police currently don't have a roadside test available for cannabis impairment. The province says that the federal government does have a device to conduct roadside tests under development and until it's approved police can charge a suspected drug-impaired driver based on observed behavior and sobriety tests. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kennedy. That's our Kennedy Schmidt reporting from the Alberta Legislature. The Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police also shared its opinion on the upcoming legalization of marijuana this week. They feel as though there isn't enough time to prepare for the necessary legislative framework and regulations in order to ensure safety for Albertans. They're encouraging people to reach out at all levels of government with their concerns.